hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make an installer for your project this right here this proton folder is my project folder if i open it you are just going to see um folders some text files some python files and one executable file if you want to know how to make an ex executable file click the link in the description below so that is my project folder the first thing that you do that you that you want to do is go over to your search engine and in the search bar type download nsis when it's loads click the first link that shows up when you click that it's going to take you to this website and then you are going to see um this download um, link here when you click the download link it's going to download an executable file on your system so what you will do is now go to your file explorer search for that executable file open it and install nsis on your system so when that when that is done you now call, you now go to wherever your project is the one you want to make an installer for this my project being this proton folder over here you now go there right click and then when you right click you are just going to scroll down to add to archive when you click add to archive you are going to see this whole layout just don't just ignore everything else come down here and change this this array out to z to zip you are changing from area to zip because we are going to be making an installer based on the zip file so when you've done that just click ok when you click ok it's going to create an it's going to create a zip file for you i've already created mine over here so after your zip file has been created just come over here to this windows icon here click it and search for nsis by now i assume that you've already installed nsis on the system so when you click nsis when you just click it it's going to bring out this layout the application is going to open and you are going to see this the next thing that you should do is come down here to installer based on .zip file and click it when you click it, it's going to bring out this window. Here, they're asking you to open the file that you want to make an installer for. Since we've already made an installer for this zip file, I'm just going to go to, I'm just going to click open, and then it's going to bring out file explorer. So in my file explorer, I'm going to search for where this file is, and then I, I'm not going to search for it. I know it's in my desktop environment, so I'm just going to click it, and then click open. Yeah, when this window opens, what you need to do is you need to search for where this your zip file has been created. So now that I've clicked it, I'm just going to click open. So it's just going to extract, it's going to extract everything from the file inside here. So when that is done, this generate icon is going to um, light up. Yeah, it has finished extracting everything. So when you just click generate, it's going to now start generating the um it's going to start generating the installer for your uh project i'm just going to pause here pause the video here and wait for my own installer to be generated so i will see you in a few minutes it's going to take it's some few minutes but it's not going to take too long so see you in a few minutes yes so it has created um, an installer for us which is this proton.exe here so when this is done you can just click close and then you can see um, this proton.exe has been created so to prove that it works okay, let me just hide this folder somewhere else to prove that it works I'm just going to double click it to run it so you are going to see the results right now Yeah, so it's going to ask, do you want to allow this app from an unknown Polish publisher to make changes to your device? Just click yes, and then when you click yes, it's going to bring up this um, this whole interface. So you're yeah, just going to click. You can browse for the, um, you can browse the location where you want to um, put this particular. Um, put your sorry put your file you, you can browse where you want to put everything 
so i'm just going to leave it in desktop and i'm going to click install so it's just going to start installing everything inside the ins um, inside the installer it's going to start installing everything in my desktop environment as you can see this is it thank you for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe peace